Hello everyone, my name's Travis Ludlow. I'm here at White Waltham Airfield and this is where I train. And uh, today I'm gonna show you all the safety preparations you need to take before your flight in a PA-28 aircraft. And I'll show you how to do a check A and all the items on this checklist. So make sure before every flight you have one of these. So let's go check the plane out. Okay, so the first thing you want to check here is the Olio extension and the Olios are basically the suspensions connected to each of the wheels and sometimes they can get a bit stuck so uh, one Olio may be a bit more extended than the other so one wing could uh, lift up um, and so here you can see both wings look about equal and the front Olio that could also get stuck open uh, um, and so the tail could, all, could lower, uh, could be quite low but on this plane, they all, uh, all the oleos look about perfect. So I think it's great. Uh, next item on the checklist is the chocks and tie downs. But as you can see here, there are, there are no chocks and tie downs because this plane has already flown today and so they were moved early in the morning. But uh, if, it's a, if it's the first flight of the day, you're allowed to release them and you can put them in the cargo hold or back at ops. Okay, so the next thing you need to do is release the flying controls. And uh, most flying schools do this. Uh, to stop the flying controls from moving around in high winds and so they do this by uh, putting a seat belt around the flying controls and so all you have to do is just move the seat belt off and then as you can see the flying control surfaces are full and free to move again. Now it's time to walk into the plane. Okay, so now you just want to check the parking brake is on uh, and you do this because if the aircraft has been left overnight the disc, the disc pad hydraulics can lose a bit of pressure so you do this by pulling back on the lever and then you just pull back again and press the button while you're pulling it back and it uh, re-engages the parking brake. Now you want to check you have the documents for your flight and so uh, these documents should be listed in your check put, uh, checklist for what you need. So first things first, you want to check the weather, uh, make sure you've looked at the, um, the TAFs and METARs, uh, and just look outside, look at the weather, see if it's perfect for flight, flying today. And so you should have all your flight planning information with you, um, and, your te the tech lo and you want to check the tech log. So you check all the entries are up to date and the aircraft has uh, sufficient uh, hours for the trip, and uh, there's no defects uh, which may uh, impact the trip. Um, you want to check your, uh, you have a chart in the UK AIP because you need these to, uh, but, uh, you require these by law to fly in the UK. Um, and you want to check you have all your uh, computers and stuff for navigation. Um, if you're going cross country, you also want, need your survival gear. And uh, uh, for, for your departure, you need to check you have fired a flight plan if you're flying VFR or if you're booked out. Now you want to check that the magnetos are off, uh, so it should be pointing towards the off selector and that the keys are out. Okay, now you just want to put the flaps fully down. So this is the lever right here. Just pull it three clicks and it should extend fully down. Okay, now you want to check the location of the fire extinguisher. And uh, on this aircraft, it's right here below my feet. But the fire extinguisher could be anywhere. It could be anywhere in the passenger compartment. It could be behind my seat here or behind this seat here. Uh, and it's, it's vital that you know where it is, so if there's an emergency, you can just take the fire extinguisher out and use it. So uh, like the fire extinguisher, you need to check where the first aid kit is. Um, and in this, uh, this instance, it's behind my seat here, but it could also be behind this seat here. And you also need to know where it is in case of an emergency as well. This next part is a bit hard to show you, so I'm going to have to move my seat back here. Um, but what you can see here are the Peter and static systems. And so uh, water, overnight water and, stuff can get, and mud and stuff can get stuck inside. And so all we have to do is press these two plunges and it will release uh, any muck and water and stuff from the pedo and static systems uh, to ensure that they function properly. Now it's time to turn on some electrics. So first things first, you want to turn the battery master switch on and then you want to make sure that the fuel selector right here is on either the left tank or the right tank. In this case, it's pointing towards the right tank, so the right tank is selected. Then you want to turn the electric fuel pump on right here, so turn that on. Then you check that the fuel pressure, which is this dial here, is in the green. And then once you've checked that, you can turn the fuel pump back off. Then you want to check the anti-collision lights and the strobe lights, which is this but uh, button right here. So just press that and they are now on. Then you want to turn on the navigation lights. In this case, it's this little knob here. So you want to roll this all the way up like this until it clicks like that. 
Uh, actually, first you want to check the landing light. Then you want to check the pitot heater. And then now it's time to check all the lights and do a walk around of the aircraft. Let's go check out the lights. And so, first things first, you want to check the, the right navigation light is green and the light is on. Check. Now you want to check the landing light here is working. Uh, and this is the big, big light here is a landing light. And it doesn't matter if it's blocked by the propeller, you just want to check that it's working. Now you want to check the stall warner. That's this tab here. If you just lift it up, you should be able to hear a faint buzzing. That's the stall warner. Now I'm going to check the left navigation light. It should be red and the light is on. Check. Now I'm going to check the strobe light is on here. It's the big flashing beacon up here. That's flashing and it's working. And the tail navigation light is working here. Yeah, because it's, it should be white. Okay, so we checked all the lights so we know the electrics are working and ready to go. So first thing you want to check is the flaps. You want to check that it's got a pin here with a split pin there. And if you go under, okay, so here you want to check there's a bolt here and there's a bolt on this side as well. And there's a bolt here, bolt there, moving over to here, bolt here and bolt there. Now it's time to check the aileron. So you just want to move it up and down. You want to look inside the cockpit and see the control surface is moving with it. And the, uh, the opposite aileron should be moving um, to uh, with this aileron here and you want to make sure you move it up and check that there's uh, four bolts here five bolts here four bolts here look underneath there should be four bolts here five bolts here and another four bolts here so that's all good so now you want to check there's no damage to the top of the wing surface and so it looks all uh, clean here. So you move under and you check that there's no damage to the bottom of the wing surface and it's all smooth. Okay, so now you want to check the, the leading edge of the wing. So you should want to run your hands down it. Check there's no uh, major dents or scratches. This, this could affect the uh, 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 amount of lift that the aircraft can produce, but on this aircraft, the leading edge looks fine, so it's ready to go. Okay, so now I want to check the fuel filler cap, which is this right here. You should uh, twist it and it will open up like that. Then you should be able to look inside and see how much fuel you have available. Let's put it back on. You should put it back into the grooves like that. Twist it, check that it's shut, and that's ready to go. So we need to go under, and you should see these red marks, this red mark here. That should be aligned with the frame of the tyre, should be in line with the red part of the, uh, of the tyre itself. And this is check, this is the creep mark. And um, if, this, if these don't align, then uh, you need to, you're not allowed to fly because uh, this could affect braking because the tyre is actually moving around the, uh, the hub itself. Okay, so now you're gonna check the treads. It's not like a car, it doesn't have to be, you can fly with virtually no tread but this tyre here looks practically brand new, so there's plenty of tread. Uh, so this plane's all right to fly. Uh, you also want to check the brake pads. Uh, check that uh, uh, there's no cracks in the brake pad at all. Uh, you want to make sure that uh, you put, if you put your hands here, it should be uh, at least a hand's width apart, but as you can see here, it's just about more than a hand's width apart, so that is within limits. Check there's no oil or hydraulic fluid leaking at all. Uh, but there's nothing at all here, so this is fine. Check the pizza heat, you just put your hand up to it. Uh, make sure that's warm, but just be careful because it could be really hot if it's flown before. Let's go check the front of the plane. So the first thing you want to check is the, is the windscreen. So you want to check there's no cracks, uh, no dirt that could uh, block your view. Uh, in this case, uh, there's nothing. The other side doesn't look like there's anything, uh, and so this windscreen's fine. Okay, now you just want to check the propeller. So just run your hands up and down. And just make sure that if there's any uh, major dents in it, that it's also been fired out on the other side to make sure that the propeller is in balance. Then you just want to check the spinner. Just put your hands in it, feel it, and uh, it should be uh, uh, tight. And check all the bolts. Yep, everything looks good here. Now you want to check the engine condition. So check that no animals have made a bird's nest in here. Nothing down here. 
nothing over here either. And if you put your hand down here, you should be able to check the alternator drive belt if you should be able to feel it. And I can feel it right there. Uh, now we want to look inside the engine cowling here. So to do so, we just twist these and pull these out on both sides. You should be able to lift the aircraft, the, the cowling up, hold it down in case the wind blows it. And you can see, uh, make sure there's no oil at the bottom. Uh, make sure all the screws are in. Magnetos are all in here. These are the magnetos here. Uh, and now you want to check the oil filler cap, which is this here. So you want to twist it. And check the contents are sufficient. And in this case, uh, it's just underneath six, as you can see there. And so this is ready to fly with. And when you tighten it up, don't tighten it too much because when the engine's hot, it's hard to undo this. And uh, when you put this back on, make sure when you put the cowling back on, see these, these little hooks here? They need to go underneath the, the hook on the cowling itself. And then you twist that, lock it back in. Put the hook underneath, and twist that and lock it back in, like that. Okay, so same thing with the front wheel. You wanna check the creep marks are the same. They are here, and you also want to check the uh, treads, perfectly fine here. Uh, Oleo extension should look about, uh, should look basically the same as this, and also check the bolts and the tire pressure. Everything looks fine here. Okay, so we've already checked the right wing, so uh, for the sake of the video, we're just gonna, I'm gonna do a real quick overview on the left wing, but make sure when you do your actual check, you wanna check, that, you wanna check the right wing as thoroughly as you check the left wing. So here we go. First things first, check uh, the creep marks on the tyre, check there's no oil uh, or hydraulic fluid, check the brake pads and disc brake condition and the tyre condition, and this is all looking satisfactory. Check the uh, uh, leading edge, no dents, no major dents at all. Uh, and now you want to look on top of the wing, check uh, there's no dents, no marks, no, nothing that changes the air fo foil at all. Uh, same with on the bottom, no dents, no marks. I think it's fine here. Now to the left aileron, do the same as you did on the right aileron. So you want to move it up and down, compare it to the right aileron, and uh, check that it's moving the control columns on the inside of the cockpit. I'm going to check that we've got four, uh, four bolts here, five bolts here, four bolts here, four bolts there, five bolts there, and four bolts there. Now to the flap. Check we've got two bolts on this arm. Another two bolts on this arm. And another two bolts on this arm. And we should have a bolt here with a split pin going through the middle. So that's basically a rough overview of the left wing. Now let's move over to the uh, real rear tail plane. Okay, now it's time to check the, the tail of the uh, aircraft. So first things first, you want to check the skin. Uh, check there's no scratches, marks, dents, anything that causes suspicion. Same with the bottom, nothing at all. Nothing looks good here. Uh, so now you want to move over to the tail. Check the, uh, there's two antennas, uh, and also that there's the beacon here, and navigation light here. Now you want to check the tail moves up and down. And you might be able to see it moving up and down inside the cockpit. Sometimes it's hard to see. Now I'm going to move this, push this all the way down. You should be able to see inside of here, there's a, a bolt. This bolt's actually called the Jesus bolt because if this bolt breaks, then you're, uh, you're a bit dead. Um, uh, this here, this is the, ta this is the uh, uh, trimming tab. It should move up and down with the, uh, uh, with the uh, uh, rear stabilator. And this is the rubber, uh, rudder. It doesn't move because uh, it's, a fixed, uh, it's um, connected to the front wheel and uh, just run your hand down it, check that everything's uh, in working condition. Uh, everything's all connected, all the bolts. Yep, everything looks connected here. Look on the top surface of the, of the tail, check there's no dents, no. And the bottom surface, there's no dents at all either. Wanna look underneath here. Jesus pin's still there. And uh, this is the tail, uh, if there's a tail strike, this connect, uh, protects the back of the plane from a tail strike. Check that that's there and not dented or anything. And check the rear skin of the plane on this side as well. Shouldn't be any dents, any marks, any scratches. 
Everything looks good here. Check underneath. Yep, everything looks good. Okay, so outside of the plane looks uh, like it's ready to go. Okay, so finally you need the fuel strainer. This is used to uh, uh, drain some fuel out of the fuel tank and it's clear so you can see uh, the, uh, how the fuel looks. Check there's no dirt in the, in the fuel, check there's no water and then uh, check that it evaporates properly and then uh, anything that you have left you should put it back into the fuel tank. So let's go do that now. Alright, now it's time to check the fuel strainers. There's uh, normally three on each pier, 28. Uh, one on each, underneath each wing and one underneath the engine. So here's the first one here. If we just push it in, we should be able to collect a bit. And if we look in the fuel, there should be no bits and there should be no water in the fuel because the water would be uh, floating at the bottom. And so uh, once we've checked it, we can just put it back into the fuel tank like this. And now we can walk around and check the engine. So here's the one on the engine. I'm going to push it in. Uh, check that there's no bits, no water, nothing at all. This looks good. Put it back into the fuel tank. And finally, check the left wing. No bits, no water. Everything looks clear in this fuel. Let me just put it back in. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, this has been my first video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did enjoy it, please uh, like uh, and subscribe. Uh, and if you have any questions, just type them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer. Um, please go and uh, uh, follow my Instagram page and my Facebook account, Around the World Solo. And uh, so that's the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace.